Welcome to This Is What I Do, where we explore the work that is waiting to be done in our community. I'm your host, DJ Hilson. Today, we are talking to Dakota Hansen from Eagle Alloy. Welcome, Dakota. We are pleased you're here. We are the Rotary Club of Muskegon, part of Rotary International, a group of more than 1.4 million individuals from around the world whose goal is to create lasting positive change. We've been doing that here in Muskegon since 1916. One of our goals is improving the local economy. This vocational spotlight program assists students in making rewarding career choices. We hope they can remain in our community and improve life here for all of us. That's why we're here today. So Dakota, tell us who you are and what you do. My name is Dakota Hansen. I work at Eagle Alloy. I'm the senior engineering and robotics technician there. So I design new tooling for our sand molds there, um, continuous improvement stuff, do all types of support to the production guys. And uh, just recently, as of like a year and a half ago, I primarily started programming our robots there. So we have four robotic grinding cells for our steel castings. So we're melting solid steel and, you know, 3,000 degrees and then pouring it into a, a mold. We make parts for Harley Davidson, John Deere, Cat, Bobcat, things like that. How did you arrive at this job and maybe start with your educational background and, and what uh, has kind of led you to where you are today? Yeah, uh, so right out of high school, I went to Muskegon Community College, got my general education out of the way, you know, didn't really know what I wanted to do. Uh, and then I just kind of had to like throw a dart at a dartboard, right? And then uh, just choose something. So I ended up going to Grand Valley for two years and I actually chose uh, computer science. And then I switched to information technology. And so I was doing my thing at Grand Valley and it, you know, really wasn't working out for me. I, I didn't like my classes and my teachers and just kind of the setting. It just really wasn't for me. So, um, you know, throughout my life, I think it started in eighth grade, I was started getting into computer-aided design. Um, and every year up until my, you know, senior year of high school, I would take a, a CAD class. And um, it's, it's what I always loved and I was good at. So at, my, at the end of my uh, journey at Grand Valley, I was like, man, I'm, you know, I'm still trying to decide what I want to do, but I'm going to go back to what I know and what I love. And Muskegon Community College, I got another degree in computer-aided design. And that was where I found, it was like right where I needed to be. Um, I love the teachers, I love the program, and I, and I loved computer-aided design and just design in general. And at the time, I was, I was working and going to school, so I was super busy. Um, but I, I loved every second of it because uh, I found this job. It, I just I went through a temp agency, um, and we were uh, I, I got this job. We were building porta potties, and I was assembling them. I was using my hands, um, and I ended up loving it. Like my first week there, I hated it, and I was like, oh, I can't do this. I got to find something else. But I, I stuck it out, and I and I loved it. Um, and that's where I kind of learned. I, I like building things and assembling things, and my, also my enjoyment for CAD, I was like, this is perfect because I, I start off building, and then maybe I can get into the design world and design the things to build. Um, so that's kind of the direction I wanted to go. So yeah, I went back to MCC, and uh, I knew I was pretty uh, good with one of the teachers there, Jeff Johnston. He's one of my favorite people ever. Uh, just one day in class, he was like, he was like, hey, Dakota, you, you know, are you looking for a job or anything or, you know, maybe an internship? And I'm like, yeah, I mean, I have an open mind. I'm not going to turn something down if, it's, if the opportunity arises. Um, so he was like, yeah, I got this place, Eagle Alloy. They're looking for an intern. God, it looked like something out of a movie, like uh, a foundry. I, I, I think more people need to see what a foundry really is because there's, there's like flames and fire and, you know, molten steel. It's like it's burning red hot lava is what it looks like. You know, I gave it a shot, uh, you know, ended up doing my internship there for that, the summer at the time. And uh, they ended up hiring me, offering me a job. And then even, uh, even before I finished getting my CAD degree, they hired me. So then I was doing 
uh, my job at Eagle Alloy, you know, doing design um, and things like that. And I was going to school at the same time. And, you know, they ended up paying for my school, you know, just to finish up too. So it was it was a heck of a deal for me. I just couldn't turn it down. And it's it's worked out. I'm still there. I'm still happy. What about your job do you find the most interesting? What What is it that gets you up and gets you to work every day? That it's, I'm so busy, I feel like. There's always things to do, like, and always things to improve on. And my favorite thing is when we design a new robot fixture and end of arm tool, and I, I get to program it. So it, it takes me, you know, it takes me a couple hours or maybe even a couple days. Just the going through the process of, of writing a program um, and then teaching all the points for the robot to go to and pick the parts up and then go and grind. And then when I finally have that like finished part and like a finished program and and it runs at least decent. I usually have to go back and like touch it up or whatever for production purposes. But once I get that first part out of the way, that it fills me with like euphoria, man. It, like <laughs> that's what keeps me coming back. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Why don't you explain to students how valuable doing internships? So in other words, it's almost like try it before you buy it, right? So yeah. could you describe your internship experience and how that played a role in in you eventually saying, yeah, I can work here full time. Yeah, I mean, it's it's almost like a pretty low risk uh, deal. I mean, they, they bring in and most of them are even paid and they you basically know nothing. And then you got guys that will teach you everything. So what's great about the place I worked at is I'm surrounded by a solid team of guys that can teach me what to do. And they have taught me and it's better than going to class, you know, sitting down. Like you get to actually go out, learn things, and and do things, you know, and stay active. Is it okay yeah. to make mistakes? Yeah, I've made so many. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is okay, and uh, it, it's it's the best thing to learn from. I think you learn more from your mistakes than you do from just like somebody telling you something. I mean that. I think that's where I got where I am because. If I don't know uh, how to do something, you know, I'll ask. But if it's if it's not really viable to ask, and you just need to kind of figure it out, I mean, you just got to try stuff, and then you know, you're 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 gonna fail a couple times, and then you just get you got to keep getting back up and roll with the punches. So tell us a little bit about how what you do benefits the rest of us here in our community. How? how how is, is what you are contributing to Eagle Alloy a benefit to the community? Yeah, so I, I since Eagle Alloy is so big in the community, I, I think like if, as long as I'm doing well within the company, I, I think it kind of it like snowballs with that. Um, I guess I'm, I'm not really the person to go out and do like community service and stuff like that, but I know that if I kind of show up every day and have a good attitude and, you know, stay positive and and just keep being a good person, uh, I think indirectly that will contribute to the people around me being better and, you know, the community that way. Let's talk a little bit about, uh, again, your experience. And can you tell us about the most difficult thing that you encounter at work and, and how do you deal with that? Yeah, um, the most difficult thing at work, I would probably say is, it's. I think it's just the kind of job that I have. Uh, so when you design things or you're implementing new processes, not everybody's going to like it. Uh, and people are going to have some uh, like aggressive feedback and, and you know, some rude things to say. You're not always going to get praised, right? So um, I think just kind of staying ahead of the negativity and, and taking it um, as constructive criticism and just not, you know, getting worked up about uh, somebody might have a more like emotional, like, uh, negative feedback uh, towards your design or something, but really as, as long as you take that and it's like, okay, how can I be better or how can I fix it? Uh, that's kind of how I deal with it. Fantastic. I would love to like inspire people. Like, like the reason I'm here today is because I, I'd love for, you know, who the students seeing this video to see kind of like my story or hear about it and and then, you know, help them and inspire them, kind of do what I did. Because I kind of had like a rocky road, I feel like, or at least like a, a unique path. But 
at the end, I I really think I'm I'm doing pretty well and I'm happy and I just I I'd, I'd love to share that with other people. Okay, well, along those lines, so why don't you describe to students how uh, they best can prepare to do the job that you do? Have an open mind and just don't be afraid to fail. Those are my two biggest things. This is the catch-all question. So is there anything else that, that's on your mind that we haven't talked about that you want these students that are watching this video to know? It's okay to not know what you want to do with your life, especially when you're you know, high school, middle school, or, you know, even a couple of years into college, because, that, yeah, that was me. So it's absolutely okay to not know what you want to do with your life, because eventually it'll just fall right into your lap for you. Excellent. Excellent. Well, uh, thank you, Dakota. Really appreciate you being here today. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. So uh, we thank Dakota for sharing his story with us today, and we thank you for joining us. If you think this program might help someone else, please send them the link. And until next time, the Muskegon Rotary Club would like you to consider doing something good for your community.